What's up, everybody? We're going to do Wordle for Monday, October 28, 2024. Um, and today uh, we are going to do prank. I sort of forget if we've had it or not. Um, my gut tells me we have, but that's okay. Let's just still ask. Did we get prank in one? Nope, we didn't. We get an A. Ouch. Uh, I think we can say goodbye to our little streak of threes. I This feels like it's going to be hopefully, um, you know, no worse than a four. Oh boy. Um, ah, boy, let's see. You know, I guess if we do this, the good news is we could get our A positioned, even if it doesn't come up green. I mean, it could either be second or fifth. The E is not a bad letter to introduce. L is not bad. Let's just go for it. In fact, did we get algae in two? No. Oh, that was rough. Ouch. All right. Let's assume that it's second and try to recover. Um, I mean, it, 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 it could be catty. We have to ask ourselves, if I do catty, which is a reasonable guess, um, are we entering a potential trap situation here? So I don't see a ton of S words. Oh my goodness. No, forget it. Um, yeah, let's, let's go with caddy. I'm okay with that. Did we get caddy in three? No. Okay. But yeah. Ah, boy. Uh, this is going to be a little scary. Um, I mean, I don't, I mean, it's not an LLY type trap, but you do have to be so careful with those repeated letters. Um, wow. Okay. We did. Um, yeah, we had jazzy. <laughs> That's that, that would be evil, evil. I think we, I mean, we could be done with our vowels, although the only other one that looks reasonable would be something like this. Um, Daisy. It's not bad. Do we get Daisy in four? No. Okay. Um, body. That's a good one. Uh, oh, we got to be careful. Um, but, I'll, you know, I'll position my D. I don't see that there would be too many other possibilities after that. Um, do we get body in five? Oh, thank goodness. Wow. Okay. Oh, sort of playing with fire there um, with the algae and the caddy, right? Because body didn't have any repeated letters, so that effectively wastes them. But you never know when it could. I'm actually really happy with that result because I was getting nervous. There it is, body. That's a good one. Um what is that like body language? Um, is that how you use that word? Like, like inappropriate or kind of racy? Let me know guys. Um, but there it is body and five. Ouch. Um, hope you enjoyed. Um, tomorrow is going to be knock. Okay. Cause you obviously have to knock on the door so that you can get your treats. Um, wow. That could have been a nasty trick. And not a treat, because if we were on the sixth guess, I don't know what I would have done. Hope you enjoyed, and of course, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Avoid All. What's up, everybody? We're going to do strands for Monday, October 28, 2024. Fall fun. Okay. Um, so...
almost looks like pumpkin harvest. Uh, but I don't see a V, but we definitely have pumpkin here. Pumpkins. Whoops. Let me just, I'll just keep this lit up, okay? And just see what else we could have here. We got a Z. Thing is, you could form the pumpkin in different, a few different ways, right? You could go like this. Maybe not. But you could form it from this direction. Does that help? Which one is it? But I think we definitely have pumpkin or pumpkins in there. What else do we have? Um, maze uh like aren't those like corn mazes that's probably the how we use the z Okay, then we got apples. Apples, pumpkins, uh, Should be something like hay, okay. And then is this something with hay rides? Yeah, okay, hay rides, not bad. So we've got our hay rides and pumpkins. Yes, guys, I know, I am trying to go for this bangram. So hay rides and pumpkins and maze. Um, now somebody told me a trick you could do is just cut off um, some letters. Um, so that you're focusing on this on the area that contains this bangram. So what letters do we have to cut off? Um, so hay rides. So basically, I just need to kind of cut this off. There we go. That's pretty cool. So now we just look below and we already know we have apples. Um, Orchards. That's kind of strange. Uh, but I got it. Um, I just wasn't expecting it, but it's the only it's the only thing that made sense. And there we go, guys. I think we're gonna end up with a pretty pretty perfect round. Hay rides, pumpkins. Um Yep. Pretty perfect round. We gotta be careful that wouldn't be the correct way to put in the pumpkins. Let's just do maze first. And now it's gonna go like this, okay. And two more to go. I'm not really sure what we have here. Donuts. Look how they spelt it. That's kind of sneaky. And cider. 
Wow. All right, there we go, guys. Not bad, not bad. Um, took a little bit longer, but I feel like when it's doable, you can get it. And those are pretty cool tricks. So thanks to, I think it was Christian for that trick about like, once you've identified a good chunk of the letters that make up potential words, just section it off. And that sort of helped me identify orchards a little bit better. Hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of strains. What's up, everybody? We're going to do connections for a Monday, October 28, 2024. All right. What do we got today? We've got spell, love, please hold, shazam. Oh, and abracadabra. Title, cherish, Pandora, have, uh, suggest audible presto, mean, thank you, signify. Okay. Shazam, shazam. They should add one more. And you know, guys, you guys know what it is. Um, but I can only say that if we solve this thing perfectly in the reverse rainbow. But a shazam, abracadabra, presto. And actually, I think, please. Aren't these like words that you say to like, uh, I don't know why please though, for some reason, I feel like that's a word that was used in some fairy tale or something where they want, uh, they wanted to open a door or something. Uh, that, I, that could be, that might, might not be right. Um, but let's see what else we have here. Pandora is really interesting. Hmm. And mean is interesting. Mean is kind of interesting. Oh. What does that mean? What does that signify? What does that suggest? And what does that hold, I guess? Yeah, like I hold that uh, in my heart. Okay. Not bad. Um, so we got those. Then we have Cherish love or actually hmm, I was thinking of closings to a letter love thank you but you wouldn't say cherish okay so we have we're, we're I wonder about that please though that could be messing it up but in any case we have the suggest mean signify and hold that I'm pretty sure title is interesting title Tidal wave. Ah. And then you would have cherish, love. Um, have, spell, thank you. Audible. That's really strange. Um, audible. What? Audible. Pandora. Do we haven't even dealt with Pandora yet? Ouch. Let's at least start getting a few of these off the board, right, guys? I don't want to waste too much time. So we're going to go with um, what does this suggest? What does this mean? What does this hold? And what does this um, signify? Um, it's what does it represent? Ouch.
All right. Ouch. We missed that. Okay. I'm wondering if I should go with the other one now. Is this like secret codes that you have to say? Oh, shit. Okay. Could be thank you. Like, what's the magic word? Yeah, is this it? Um, what's the magic word? Oh. We have uh, nothing on the screen and we have one guess left. What the heck is going on? Um... I mean, it could go with Pandora. Hmm. And that's, wow. I can't believe that other one was not right. Oh. I think I'm overlooking something fundamental here. Uh, I gotta be, I gotta be really careful. I mean, it could be Pandora. I'm just thinking these are like secret things that you say for like a magic spell to happen. And where did I mess up with the other one? What does this, what does this mean? What does this signify? Signify. What does this suggest? And what does this have? What does this have? Hmm. Then if that's the case, we could potentially do the Pandora, Shazam, Abracadabra, and Presto. And then I've got this weird audible, spell, love, please, hold, thank you, and cherish. You could cherish something, you could love it, you could hold it. Like I hold this dear. I mean, the only other thing uh, I was thinking here, guys, is um, this secret word thing that I've been thinking about might be ridiculous. Maybe what we're really looking at is... Um, I think Abracadabra is a band. And I think Shazam might have been a band. And then maybe Presto and Pandora. Like, I don't know of any bands called Spell, Love, Please, Hold, Mean, Thank You, Audible. No. So these could be bands. Uh, uh, they could be bands. And remember, I did previously say uh, something silly like please or thank you, which we did some guesses. Let's try to get these coordinated here. Okay, that's not bad. So those could be bands. Uh, thank you card, thank you letter, a love letter. Ugh. I still feel like we've got what something represents or, yeah, means to you. So, signify, suggest, mean, 
and we did hold and it didn't work. That's got that's got to be a category. That's got to be an easy one. And I think these hopefully this is rock bands because I I think I, I I'm almost certain Abracadabra and Shazam. The, the other two I'm not sure, but I don't see what you can do with them. Presto. Okay. Signify, suggest, mean. And have but that's weird this what does this have for you mean signify suggest I thought it was hold would be the best audible hmm That's tricky because audible is, um, it's an adjective. And these others are not really adjectives at all. Mo lot, mostly verbs. Things that you can hear. Audi. Audi. A vehicle. Oh, shoot. That's too bad. I don't see any other vehicles in the beginning. Damn, that would have been awesome. Audi. Then Cherish, you've got Share. Uh, I don't know what to do. I am honestly at a loss. I just, I just don't know if I want to go for that. Uh, geez. Abracadabra. This is what we tried in the very beginning. Ah. Uh, Please, I don't think you say he said thank you. It would be abracadabra. Please, oh boy, I don't know. What about um? What does this? Okay, maybe the we could look at spell from a different direction. Like this spell is disaster. This spell is disaster. This means disaster. This signifies disaster, this suggests disaster. Would this be to, again, to represent or to show? I'm gonna lose this one, guys. Uh, okay. Hanging by a thread, indicate, okay. Abracadabra. Open, what is it? Open sesame, abracadabra, please, presto. Um, abracadabra, abracadabra, please, presto.
uh, I don't know, um, Ah, uh, I'm just trying to figure out what the heck to do. Like, I, again, I think we we have maybe some some of these like secret words. Abracadabra, please. Uh, presto. Just don't think you would say have or hold. Thank you. Oh gosh, thank you. Then what the heck do we do with the rest? Have, hold, love. I have you, I hold you, I love you. I cherish you. Ugh, I don't know. That seems ridiculous. And then I'd be left with Audible, Pandora, Tidal, and Shazam. Audible makes me think of like, uh, is the, uh, like a, I don't know, like an app or something. Um, Audible makes me think of some app. So I guess, you know, so if we look at that, then I don't think you would have have, hold, love, or title. Or sorry, have, hold, love, or cherish as apps. Title? Eh. I suppose it could be. Pandora? Sounds like it would be, that would be a clever name for, a, for an app. Ah, uh, geez. And then Shazam? Ah, uh, thank you, Abracadabra, please, presto. Let's, let's go with this. And uh, the, the streak is on the line. If we lose it, it's okay. We just start right back up, right? Um, are these um, like secret passcodes or secret words? Okay, I can't believe it. Magic words, okay. And then I guess you're gonna go have, I have, I have you, I hold you, I love you. I cherish you. I'm only doing this just because I'm banking off of hopefully Audible being some sort of like music app, right? Um, I just vaguely feel like I've heard of that. And then we can go with, yeah, Shazam, Pandora, and Tidal would have to be apps, hopefully. Um, anyways, I have no idea what this is. Are these just like terms of endearment? Church of England wedding vow verbs. Damn. Well, there you go. That's a nice little sign off to our brethren um, from the UK. I hope you guys got that. And I guess I'm going to get this by default. I can't believe this is yellow. Um, I'm just going to say, are these like music apps? Audio apps. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God, guys. I cannot believe that. We were either going to be at um, zero or uh, 70, and we got it to 70. That was insanely hard for me. Uh, these, these words were going all over the place. I'm glad that I ended up sticking with the magic words and not um, the bands. That was sneaky, though, because I'm almost certain there's an abracadabra and a shazam. I just wasn't really, I just didn't know about the presto and the pandora. That seemed a little bit too far-fetched. We did it, guys. Um, please share your results. I feel like that probably was one of my hardest ever. I'm so damn lucky we got that. We, what a save, right? We had nothing lit up. One guess left. And, um, we sort of made the correction with indicate and, um, and then, yeah, we got it from there. Uh, I feel like I'm, I, I'm doomed pretty soon. These have been pretty hard recently. The last two, we had a little bit of a break, but previous ones, um, within this week have been incredibly hard. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Connections. What's up, everybody? We're going to play the mini crossword for Sunday, October 27. Uh, let's go ahead and um, see what our clues are. What might protect a onesie um, from drool? No idea. M miles, minutes, and millimeters? I would say those are units. I mean, it's units of distance or length, but um, we'll go with units. Warren G. Harding became the first U.S. president to broadcast over this, probably a radio. Four wins out of four, for example. A sweep. Let's see if six down makes sense. Soak up, yeah, that is to sop, sop up. Be in charge of as a bar. Uh, okay, not sure. Let's see about one down. What might protect a onesie from drool? Completely amazed. Number 46. That would be Biden. Okay. Um, five, like a two, like a two, two series tied. Nine across, be in charge of as bar. Um, could, I could be in trouble, guys. I'm not sure about these three clues. And I don't... Oh, wait. I hate... Okay. I was looking in the wrong direction. Burst. Okay. And two would be completely amazed. Or sorry, one across. What might protect a onesie? A bib. Now I understand. Uh and then this is to tend, and this is in awe. Oh, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, there you have it, guys. That is the mini crossword for uh, yesterday, obviously, just because uh, you can't pre-record these. So we do strands, wordle, and connections um, the day of, but the mini crossword and the spelling bee, which I'm about to do next, uh, is one day previous. So there you have it, guys. That was fun. Um, I'm sure a lot of people were able to do that in under a minute. I just was looking in the wrong direction, I think, with the burst and the bib. But we did, we did it. We did it. And um, I didn't fail on like a couple of days ago. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of the mini crossword. What's up, everybody? It's time for the yellow spelling bee. How many words can we make with seven letters? Let's find out. Uh, we're playing, of course, for uh, Sunday, October 27th. Um, and again, you'll have to just allow me to set the screen up a little bit better. And um, I think we know what the title is. I think this is looking actually pretty good. Um, let me just move this over so that we can see my progress. And um, I think we have it. And if we need to <coughs> adjust the list of words so you can see them all, we'll do so. Oh, look at these. Nice list of words. And including the E is pretty cool because you know you're going to probably need to use it a lot. So F-O-P, L-G-A, and an E. I think a um, common uh, suffixes will be like L-E and A-L-E. So let's get started here. <sighs> Poll. Um, just move myself a tiny bit there. Okay, poll. And um, what's next? Pale. Peel, peel, um, elope, start getting some fives, um, <coughs> feel, fail, Oof, that was a fail, who spells fail like that, um, leaf, uh, here's a nice little five letter, I, I try this a lot in Wordle, just to help position some A's, but we've got algae. Right, good, not bad. Um, fella, cool. Uh, Gail, gaggle, starting to get a nice six letter word there. Oh, well, sometimes they actually, I think, design the letters almost to help you get the pangram, but you guys must have been thinking, Art, the um, pangram should be jumping out at you. Flagpole, perfect. I would be surprised if there's another, but I'm happy that you got the one because I think without getting 
at least the one pangram, it'll be hard to really get to the uh, genius level. Okay. I feel like the I would have been nice here, but it's okay. Because I think a lot of IE words at the end would be good. <coughs> Pope. Um, goggle. Google. We're at nice, not bad, so nice, great, amazing, and genius. It, it slows down very quickly though, particularly I think between great to amazing is a tough transition. Peep, peep, maybe with an A, nope. Oh, people, okay. Um, oh, here's a good one, a nice science word. Maybe this will bring back some memories, guys, from biology class. I think it's called the flagella. I think it's the little, sort of like arms that um, uh, I think of the, like the arms of a paramecium, something like that. Okay, we are great. That's not bad. Um, allege. <coughs> Can almost you want to do something like allergy? I'm, I can't think of any other like forms of that that we could do like allergen, aller, allergenic, papal, hmm, or papal. Ah, oh, you need the yeah, that's spelled like that, but you would need the um, e. Plea. I think there's going to be quite a few four letters. Those those might be the key to cracking this leap. You could almost do leapfrog, but we just don't have the R. Legal. And. Ah, legal. Come on. And eagle. Legal eagle. I think that was a movie with um, Robert Redford. Legal eagles. Hmm. Oh, I was almost thinking affable. But of course, uh, we would need the... Um, be there. Gaff. Ah. Uh, okay, perfect. Apple. So I think I did plea. And the list looks good. I think, yeah, we can see all the words. Let me just double check here. Yeah, perfect. I'm pretty sure if we can get maybe about five more words, most of which are like of the five letter variety, we should hopefully hit genius. I don't want to peak yet just because. I'm a little bit nervous. If it's like 150 to get to genius, like another 51 points, that's, that's going to be tough. Allele. Wow, you get some nice um, biology words in here. Okay. Uh, flea. Did we do poll? Yes. Mm, I would love to do gallop. Okay, I don't know how you can do gallop, anything with a gallop, but include the E. So we did Google, we did Goggle, we did Gaggle. Yep, here's where we start to slow down, right, guys? Um, Ogle. Ah. Uh, Something with egg would be interesting. Let's give these a little bit of a spin. That looks good. Um, apogee. Oh, so uh, more of like a uh, astronomy word. Okay. Agape. Yep, I haven't peaked yet. This is an in interesting. I've I haven't even looked yet to see what we need to do to get to genius. Let's just keep trying to get these, and once I really get stuck, I'll take a peek. Um, uh, 
lapel. Yes! Okay, I'll take it. Oh, guys, we needed that after um, after really getting uh, just pretty close to annihilated in, um, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, connections. Yeah. So there you have it. I probably could keep going and have a little bit more fun here. Uh, but I think we did a good job. Again, I think Genius is pretty good and it does start to slow down and you're just looking for these like crazy, just crazy words. I mean, I do see another one. We'll just put it in just for, for the fun of it. Of course, page, um, yeah, we'll put in the page. I'll do one more, okay? Just because that was, for me, that was, like, really fast. Um, let's see. Appeal. There you go. Okay? So now we went a little bit beyond. What was required for the genius? 122. Perfect. So we did we did a few more. And there you have it. Um, that was awesome. I, I really almost feel like I should keep going. But unfortunately, uh, as you can imagine, guys, today's... Uh, I'm recording this on, on, on the Sunday, and yeah, I've got oh a lot of students' lessons to get ready for. So let's end it like that. Um, I think we did that in under 10 minutes, which is pretty good. And of course, I'm going to look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Spelling Bee!